Hello friends, welcome to my channel and in this video I'll explain you about my Baines inventory management software that I have recently developed. So this is the logging window. When you open the file, uh, it will ask you for the password. By default password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But if you want to change the password, simply click change password. It will give you another option. Enter old password. If I enter old password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 then it will give me another section to change the enter the new password enter new password and click save and the password will be changed for now i'm logging with my default password so this is the software interface so it has lot of options first there is the main where we can enter all the transaction tapes then we have item master there we add all the items then we have opening section then we have consumption report then we have report then we have manage entries then account then company information so we go step by step so when you download this software there won't be any item so you have to add it yourself first we choose supplier name there won't be any supplier name so you have to add supplier name click the plus button to add the suppliers i have already uploaded a video regarding how can add the supplier so the link will be in description box so I select a supplier for United Poultry, category Altec Chicken, item name will be Chicken or X. Unit will be pieces. So the one pieces X price is six rupees. Selling price I can keep empty because we are not going to sell it. But if you want to sell it, you can keep it seven. Reorder level like. Oh, what is the stock will be with you then it will show you the reminder like uh, 100 pieces and add you can see eggs is added already if you want to edit the eggs or any particular item simply double click on it you can make any changes like no the price is high now it's now 6.5 and the selling price you want to increase 7.5 simply update this time so see the price has changed now this is very simple to edit add or delete any items during delete also you simply click on any item and click delete button it will ask you here you want to delete you say yes it will be delete then no then it will remain there when you have done adding all your items then come back to the main page and there select the transaction tape will be purchase then you can choose any items that can be eggs so simply double click on eggs or when you have a lot of items then you can search item from this search box simply click here save egg you see related to egg only we have egg but if i only keep here e all the items have e alphabet it will show you all the items simply double click on eggs make sure you double click on it then the items is start showing here in our transaction section then inside the yellow box that's called use quantity i'll add 150 pieces of eggs now we are going to purchase you can see eggs related all the information is added here like the unit is pieces quantity one the cost is 6.5 available is zero but another thing that i would like to show you if you select a sale the price will be changed now it is 7.5 right so i'll refresh it again then i'll choose the purchase double click on egg i'll take 150 pieces of egg if there have any discounts you're getting from the suppliers that can be one percent two percent you can add but if uh, you are not sure about the percentage you want to add the direct amount like you got 10 rupees discount simply you can add 10 rupees here so the amount will be discount from the total amount but if they're charging you extra in this case also you can add percentage like you get five percent extra they charge you you can add that amount that's what the percentage or you can enter the directly the amount like you get 50 percent they have charged you 50 rupees extra for this order so doing so so either you can use the percentage or the direct amount also so i simply keep 
you get discounts like one percent you got from the supplier then you have to choose the supplier so clicking this plus button the similar way you can add the supplier also there we have the option for add edit delete and clear the suppliers details also related to supplier how can add the suppliers i have already made a video and uploaded to youtube channel the link will be in description box so i choose a supplier that will be united poultry then we add it. so the item is added below in all list so i will take another item like tomato i'll purchase one kg and this time the supplier will be different so i'll take uh, hyper pure the amount is 40 and there is no discounts no extra charges at all so i'll add it below you can see the total um, uh, item count is two then total uh, item quantity is 151 total amount is 1015 and the discount is 9.71 then we have the subtotal the subtotal is coming out to 1005 rupees 0.25 and the reference is united poultry for the eggs and for tomato that is the hyper pure then we save it you see it is so simple to use this software and it is asking me do you want to print if i print then it will allow me to make a print but as i don't have printer so it will show you the so it's showing me to save as a pdf so i'll save it as pdf 254 later on i'll show you how does the pdf looks like so this was the purchase invoice similar way you can add sell invoice also you can double click on any item enter the quantity select the customer name this time there is no supplier name this is the customer name and from here also you can add any customer for now there is no customer added in all list so it's not showing so you can choose any customer and you can make entries for transaction uh, for transfer also the same way like you have a uh, uh, you need or you have a kitchen or you bought the items in your kitchen or a store you keep it and then you transfer to the kitchen so that's how it, so maybe you have a store uh, you have a restaurant you purchase the items and you keep those items in your store and every day used to transfer those some other items to the kitchen so like for example for like example you have a restaurant and you purchase a lot of goods and you store them in a storeroom and every day you used to send them or the transfer them to kitchen so you can use this software for that purpose so you can use this software for that purpose also so simply click transfer select the items and this time you can see transfer to like why do you want to transfer so clicking this button you can add the transfer location like you have kitchen or uh, you have some other branches also so you can add those and from the drop down list you can select so how does this discard section work like you purchase some item and that is spoiled or maybe that export expire or that maybe that's broken so if you don't uh, keep the record then end of the day you will get the variant like uh, some items are missing so you can add these items in this card section the similar way select any items enter the quantity and enter the supervisor name that's all add and save so it's work similar is very simple then i show you how can add the item then we have the opening stock for example when you purchase this software maybe your business already running so you have a lot of stocks or goods in your store so you have to make entries so either you can add that in your uh, like in purchase from here also you can add those items in purchase but if you don't want to add those items in purchase so you can enter those items in opening section like when you start using this software i have this amount of goods for opening so what you have to do simply double click on any item and the item related all the information is showing here except the opening quantity simply you can keep like here we have one kg during opening and then simply click this plus button and it will be added to our opening stock it so starts showing opening quantity is one opening value is 30 six rupees or whatever the dollar so that's how we can uh, enter all your stock uh, very quickly for opening 
so then we have the consumption report about consumption report already i have uploaded a video on youtube the link will be in description because uh, it's a little big topic a uh, lot of things are there to understand so the link will be in description box you can watch that video how does the consumption report work then we have the report sheet in the report sheet we can search the report or we can generate report on start date end date transaction id basis then we have transaction tapes on the basis of that also we have category basis and the item name and reference name so i'll show you first we click show all so these are the entries that we have for now uh, to purchase one transfer so and the date you can see it started from 2018 to 2023 that means it's showing me five years back to today's date so you can change the date if you want to say only today's uh, transaction then you can simply uh, take 19 make sure the date format uh, the month will be first then date then the year then you have the transaction id if i enter here 1001 and search then it will show me only the transaction id number 1001 then we click show wall uh, again we have all the data then you have uh, transaction tape transaction tape we have full report also if i click full report then it will show me the opening balance purchase sale transfer discard closing this closing is our store closing and this semi finish that means our kitchen closing what is semi close semi the semi finish uh, that amount is coming from the consumption report okay if you have a restaurants and all then you know what that does that means semi finish and what does how that uh, consumption section work but if you're not from that particular uh, industries then it's not useful for you so just leave it as it is then we have the final stock so we have opening 36 rupees purchase this amount transfer this amount and closing this amount then we have the semi finish also and the final stock value is 844 so that's how we can search on the basis of date transaction tape category item name and report and reference what does that mean reference reference means your reference name that can be the company name that can be the transfer to that can be the customer's name like if you want to search any other report for sale uh, then we have the reference name that means the customer name if you enter any customer name click on search it will show you the that particular customer data okay so that's the report and then we can uh, print the report also and the report will be print on a4 size paper then we have manage entries that means if you make any entries that you need to delete later on then you can do it from this section only that's called manage entries first we go to the report and we see the transaction number or transaction id that is 101 let me delete it now because uh, maybe by mistake i made the entries 1001 and then search you can see only one entries is there i simply click delete it will ask me sure you want to delete yes so the entry is delete now if i go to the report show all you see that 1001 transaction id is no more so that's how we can delete the bill or any entries then we have the account section in account section there is a lot more things to do so i made already another video to understand in details about the account section the link will be in description box then we have the company manage from this place you can change the company name contact number email id and address this information will be printed to our invoice then we have the terms and conditions on bill like on bill there if you want to add some terms and conditions as per your company policy you can add those two then we have the password you can change the password from here also if by default password is 12345 you can change it as per you wish then click the save button it will be saved then we have item name delete so this is basically the delete section if you want to uh, delete any particular part of your software like you can delete the items name whatever the items we have added the purchase sale transaction discard data opening data closing data customer ledger data supplier ledger customer's name suppliers name simply click these boxes and 
click on delete button all the data from that particular section will be deleted so friends you have uh, seen this software is so easy to use and user friendly it has lot of options so in this video i haven't discussed about account and consumption but the description box i have already pinned you two video link regarding these two topics because these are quite important to understand so you can watch those videos too if you want to download this software the link will be in description box simply download and once you download arrange your time and contact me i'll make the necessary setting at the beginning to operate this software smoothly and after that you can use it following this video's tutorial so thank you very much for watching this video